time travel ass art here with a let's play of Illusion of Gaia for the Super Nintendo. You might also know this game as Illusion of Time if you're from Europe or I think Australia is what they called it there as well. This game came out in 1994, I think it was 1993 for the original Japanese release, but developed by Quintet and published by Enix. And uh, I don't think it's overly apparent in the English script, maybe in the Japanese script, but apparently this is part of a an overarching trilogy of games made by Enix. Soul Blazer, for sure. And Terranigma. And I think maybe also there's like a tenuous connection to the Act Razor series they made. But I didn't really particularly notice that in the English version of this game, but some people insist they're all related, very vaguely. It's a nice touch, I guess, because the games play completely differently. You don't really see that a lot, that a company would try to tie together most of their franchises. But this game was requested by Omar G, so we do it. We play it. It's, I think, 31 videos altogether to get all the way through the game. For the most part, it was, uh, it was a pretty fun game. I wasn't a huge fan of the, uh, the end game, but everything leading up to that was pretty fun. Um... If you're just trying to figure out really quick if there's any side stuff that you see, if you like people that play the game all the way through or play it really well, as we definitely die a few times and we miss the main side quest, which is you're attempting to find these 50 hidden jewels, or maybe there's more than 50. You need to find at least 50 of them, and we do not, which locks us out of a bonus dungeon, a bonus boss. So we don't. I don't show those off in this playthrough because I don't find the requisite 50 jewels to unlock it. Um, and then I guess really the only other thing that you could miss is if you kill all the enemies in a given area is your, your stat will increase, uh, one of your stats will increase. And that's basically how you become stronger playing through the game. So the more areas you completely clear the monsters, the stronger you'll be. But I think there's a few areas I don't clear out. I clear out most of them though. So it's, it's pretty close to maximum stats, but I think we come up just a little shy And I think that's really all there is to say about this. Yeah, it's just not the not the most cohesive story, but it is loosely affiliated with some other games. That's, you know, a neat thing. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty fun game. 31 parts. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 